What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. Man, holy smokes. I've done like three videos of Netflix in one week. I mean, Netflix, they've been getting into a lot of freaking trouble, man. It's like, it's like one bad news after the other. Losing subscribers, going down in the stock market, canceling shows, increasing their prices, charging for passwords. I mean, it's not <laughs> it never ends with Netflix. And now Netflix is getting sued. They are getting sued by their shareholders for lying. Okay, they lied about their subscriber count. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell for future notifications and like the video. I'm on a journey to get 1,000 subscribers, guys, and I very much appreciate your help. So thanks a lot, guys. Now, I am at Variety.com, and it says Netflix targeted with shareholder lawsuit. Allegiant, Allegiant, Allegiant Securities fraud after subscribers miss. Yeah, man, I mean... You know, I mean, why do you think? Why do you think they've been doing like a lot of the shit that they've been pulling? Like, where is it? Like firing their animation, the, their animation department, canceling shows, and um, was it? You know, telling everybody that they're gonna add commercials to their video to uh, Netflix. Netflix has never had commercials from the very beginning. Netflix never, ever, ever added commercials to their to their platform never up until now you know they also announced that oh they're gonna start charging for you know for password sharing like if you share your password with somebody else you're gonna, you're gonna have to pay a fee for that you know and what else and then and they said that they're expecting to lose two million subscribers because they've been going down the drain for all this shit that they've been doing you know, and I told you guys before, I told you guys before, the only reason why I'm on Netflix is because of anime. If it wasn't for anime, I would not be on Netflix, okay? Because Netflix has been investing greatly into anime and they're going to continue to invest into anime, right? Because, like I said, half of, half of their subscribers worldwide, more than half of their subscribers watch anime, so they know it's a really good investment. There's absolutely no denying it. So I guess Netflix is going to continue to produce anime while canceling a bunch of other types of shows. But let's read the news. Let's read what is going on here with the lawsuit. And it says Netflix misled investors about declining subscriber growth over the pet over the course of six months, leading to a massive drop in its in its stock prices, according to a shareholder lawsuit. The lawsuit filed Tuesday in federal district court in San Francisco alleged allege Netflix violated U.S. security laws by making materially false and or misleading statements. And also because it failed to disclose material adverse facts about the company's business operations and prospects. Yeah. Yeah, they lied in 2021. And now in 2022, they saw it, they saw a, a decline of 200,000 subscribers and they're expecting to lose more subscribers. Right? They probably thought that they were going to get more subscribers than they expected in 2022 as the world started opening up or whatever, or, you know, whatever it is that they, whatever predicaments they made, but it failed. And as I told you guys before, I told you guys before, like, Netflix used to be, where is it? Netflix used to be worth, six months ago, Netflix used to be worth, you know, almost $700 per share in the stock market. And then fast forward to May 2022, the month of this video, it dropped down to $200. So Netflix has actually become cheaper. <laughs> it's actually become cheaper. I mean, go for I me, mean, go figure. I mean, that's that's just nuts, man. That's just crazy. Okay, but it doesn't stop there. And then if we scroll down, it says, per the lawsuit, Netflix misled the shareholders going back to its third quarter in 2021. Earnings report on October 19, when the company failed to tell investors that Netflix was ex exhibiting slower customer acquisition growth due to, um, among other other things, account account sharing by customers and increasing competition from other streaming services. As a result, Netflix wrongful acts of acts in omissions and the pr 
precipitous decline in the market value of the company's securities. Plant uh, plaintiff and other class members have suffered significant losses and damages, according to the complaint. Yeah, they lied to their investors, and now their investors are losing money, and now their investors are taking them to court. And Netflix is going to keep losing even more money for lying. Jesus Christ, man. It doesn't stop with these people. It never stops. It's just one thing after the other because they're desperate. They're very, very desperate. When I heard the news that they were going to add commercials to, to their Netflix videos, that was a really desperate move. And then the password sharing. And by the way, by the way, people have always been sharing their, their, their passwords. Okay. Because you have one family, you have one family and everybody watches Netflix at home. Right. So it's like the people are always password sharing. You know, the, you could share your password with your friends. And people have been doing this since the beginning of Netflix. And all of a sudden now they're going to start cracking down on that. It is a desperate move. It's a move of desperation. You know, and now they're getting their asses sued and they deserve it. So Netflix is going to be, I mean, I don't know if it's going to go bankrupt. I don't think Netflix is going to go bankrupt, at least not yet. At least not yet. But I think what's going to happen is that they're gonna go they're gonna plummet so badly. I mean we saw it. I mean take a look at it. It went from seven hundred all the way down to two hundred. It, it five hundred dollars it lost five hundred dollars in value. That is embarrassing. I mean pretty soon it might go down to like fifty dollars if it keeps going this way. <laughs> but there are some rumors. There are some rumors saying that Apple, Apple as in Apple computers, might buy Netflix to compete in the video streaming wars, right? Apple computer might actually buy Netflix, right? There's there's way too many there's way too many you know video streaming services because back in the day in in the early in the early 2010s, right? In the early 2010s, when Netflix first started or when it, when the streaming service was getting popular. Um, there was only Hulu and Netflix, and then that was it. And then a lot of shows were on Netflix. But as as other companies started to see what was happening, you know, Disney took their content out of Netflix, and then other companies started taking their content out of Netflix, and they said, "Screw you! We're gonna make our own video streaming services." And now you got HBO Max, Paramount Plus, Disney Plus. This, you know this video streaming plus and Crunchyroll and all this crap, right? You get a whole bunch of, you know, streaming services now. So that's how they've been losing subscribers. And that's why they now they're also trying to get in the gaming business. They're trying to get into gaming. They're very desperate. Netflix is making a lot of desperate moves. So let's see how this plays, how this plays out. Guys, make sure to stay tuned. I'm going to keep covering this story, so subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Okay, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And make sure to comment below. Tell me what you think. And like this video. I think, you know, thanks for watching, guys. And let's see how this story unfolds. This is Andy Matrix. Thank you for watching. And Godspeed.